Hi everyone and welcome back to HMH Innovations podcast. My name is Sibongile Mafu and today we've got another yet exciting topic which is all about ironing. We'll be going into the history of ironing, sharing some tips and tricks and obviously the importance of ironing. So please do not go anywhere, go grab your favorite beverage and come join me as we delve into this exciting topic. Now let's get into the history of ironing. Believe it or not, ironing has been around for centuries. Ancient times used flat stones, glass and wood. Chinese heated metal pans and hot coals. And Middle Ages metal irons heated on stoves in Europe. Several inventors played a key role in improving the iron. In 1882, Henry W. Seeley painted the first electric iron, making the process much more convenient. Mary Potts revolutionized the iron design in the 1870s by introducing a detachable handle and a metal base that retained the heat longer. These innovations paved the way for the modern irons we use today. But why is keeping your clothes ironed so important? Clothes look neat, keeps fabric quality and removes wrinkles and germs. Here are some practical tips to make your ironing more effective. Use water spray for tough wrinkles. Iron clothes inside out. Start with collars and cuffs. Use a press cloth for delicate fabrics. So how do we avoid common ironing mistakes? Don't iron over zippers or buttons. Adjust heat setting for fabric type and never leave the iron unattended. So if you don't have an iron or you just want to avoid the whole process of ironing, there are some alternative ways of getting rid of the wrinkles. Steamers, they use steam to remove wrinkles. And the shower method, where you hang your clothes in the bathroom whilst showering. There are various types of irons available today. Dry irons, no steam. Steam irons, built in water for steam. Steam generator irons, separate water tank, more steam. Travel iron, small and portable, cordless irons, no cord, more flexibility. To ensure your iron lasts longer and works effectively, clean it regularly. Clean the sole plate with a damp cloth. Empty the water tank after use. Descale according to instructions. Did you know, in some cultures, ironing clothes is considered a sign of respect and care. Historically, people used to iron clothes with heated stones or wood. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode where we've dwelled so much into irons, into its history, the importance, the tips and the types of irons that are out there. So please do not forget to subscribe, like and comment here at HMH Innovation Podcast and see you next time.